At the beginning of the story, it shows five high school students who are always bullied in their school. They are named Zon, Billy, Tio, Bing, and finally the leader, Ahai. Because they were tired of being bullied, they decided to join the biggest gangster in the city, and the gangster was called the Hosen Gang. But the leader of the Hosen Gang named Tongor refused before they want to fight and defeat the people who had bullied them. Hearing this, they finally ventured to finish off the bullies. With Reckless, they finally managed to slaughter the bullies. After that, they returned to the Hosen Gang base for a report, until finally the five of them were accepted into the gang. And since joining the gang, their lives have become peaceful, because no one dares to bully them anymore. Long story short, a year passed and finally the five of them graduated from school. Then Ah Tong divided them into their respective tasks. Ah Hai and Zong were assigned to be security money collectors. Tiu himself was assigned to be a street food vendor while undercover. Meanwhile, Billy and Bing got a worse assignment, mainly trading porn DVD tapes. And it also makes Billy often angry, because he wants to be assigned more fierce like Ah Hai and Zong. The next day, the five of them go to a gathering of Kapom gangsters. There we are introduced to the big boss of the Kepong gang named Fozen, and he is the most powerful and feared person in the area. There are also many gangster bosses who come to the event. While there, Zong was mesmerized by the beauty of Madam, who is the young wife of Fozen. Long story short, after the event, Fozen held a meeting with the gangster bosses to unite the gangs and not to seize each other's territory. They all immediately agreed. Then Boss Fozen began to discuss an African gang called Gang 27 who had dared to enter their territory, and that would disturb the gang's balance. Here he also suspected that one of them had collaborated with Gang 27, because the gang could just enter their territory. Then the southern gang leader, named Hak Long, said he knew nothing and denied the accusation. At the same time, Zong and his friends returned to the base to ask Ah Tong for another job. After complaining, Boss Ah Tong finally gave them a new assignment, namely Billy and Bing were assigned to become debt collectors. Tio became a soccer gambling bookie, while Ah Hai and Zong were assigned to guard the nightclub. Later that night at a nightclub, the five of them accidentally saw a jerk who was bothering a woman there. Seeing that Ah Hai approached to stop him, but the man did not accept it and immediately called his gang, until a commotion occurred there. But apparently, they are all members of the 27 gang led by Laksa, and he is Ah Long's right-hand man, and it is revealed here that Ah Long is the one who has collaborated with the 27 gang, but this betrayal has not been known by the boss Fosen. Not long after, Ah Tong arrives to stop the brawl. The next day, Billy and Bing began to carry out their new duties as debt collectors, but they were both confused because they did not know how to collect debts from people. As a result, they both go back and make word paint on the walls of their customers so that they want to pay their debts. In another place, Tio is inviting his friend named Sui to join the bookies, and without thinking, Sui accepted the offer. Long story short, after completing the assignment, the five of them were called by Ah Tong to enter his room, and it was there that Ah Tong gave them a dangerous task, which was to kill the 27 gang leader who was an African. If this mission is successful, then they will immediately be promoted to a higher rank. Hearing that at first they hesitated, but in the end they agreed for the sake of promotion. That same night they started moving and watching the target in the car. After the situation became safe, the four of them got out of the car and immediately killed Gang 27 leader. In the end, the mission was successfully completed. Because they successfully completed this mission, the five of them were finally appointed by Ah Tong and also Boss Fozen. Now the five of them are used as combat troops, which are now led directly by Ah Hai. After returning from there, they held a small party to celebrate. They even invited Saifa and Cindy, who they had previously helped when they were harassed at the nightclub. There Ah Hai immediately fell in love with Saifa, and in the end Ah Hai declared his love there, and they were officially dating. Likewise, Billy and Cindy have officially dated too. On the other hand, Ah Long and his men made plans to take revenge on Ah Tong's gang, for killing the 27 gang leader who was his business partner. Coincidentally, Ah Hai and the gang were assigned to guard Ah Long's area until finally the two gangs clashed again.
It seems that both parties have brought a lot of troops, so a big battle finally began and took place there. But unexpectedly, Ahai killed Laksa, the right-hand man of boss Ah Long. Obviously, it will make these two gangs more heated and hostile again. After finishing the brawl, they all stopped and visiting by the legendary Masur, local traditional massage, to treat the bruises on their bodies. On the other hand, Boss Ah Tong was a little worried about Lax's death, because it would make Ah Long even angrier and could take revenge at any time. Knowing this, Boss Ah Tong took the five of them to see Boss Fozen to reconcile with Ah Long's gang. But there, they were actually praised by Boss Fozen because he was amazed by their courage. Especially to Ahai and Tio for killing Laksa. Boss Fozen then told Atong and Ahai to talk to him in private. When they left, Zong unexpectedly began to approach Madame, Boss Fozen's young wife. Then the two of them made out there. On the other hand, Boss Fozen told Ahai to go out of town for a while so that he wouldn't be hunted down by Ah Long. For the sake of his life, Ahai was no choice except to agree with that option. Before leaving, he also told Zong to take over his duties temporarily and now the combat troops will be led by Zong for the time being. Then he said goodbye to his friends. On the other hand, Boss Fozen met with Boss Ah Long. There, Boss Fozen told him to make peace with Boss Ah Tong so that there would be no more bloodshed. Hearing this, Boss Ah Long could only remain silent because he still did not accept the death of his right hand. In the evening, Boss Fozen and his wife went to a nightclub to get drunk. Because Madame was already high, Boss Fozen told Zong to take Madame home. Of course, Zong agreed to take her. While on the road, Madame started to get really drunk and started to grope Zong. As a result, the two of them immediately made out again. Then it's Boss Ah Long's gang's turn to move for revenge by destroying Boss Fozen's gambling business first. Then they went to Sui to bribe him and told him to persuade Tio to raise the betting limit so that the profits he could take away would be very much. That would obviously make Boss Fozen angry and would kill Tio if that happened. Seeing the offer, Sui immediately agreed. Then he went to Tio and started to instigate him. Hearing that and also that Sui is his friend, he doesn't suspect anything. On the other hand, Ahai gets a call from Boss Fozen telling him to come back. Without thinking, he immediately rushed away from there, and after arriving, he was immediately warmly welcomed by his friends. When at the base, the five of them were surprised by Boss Fozen, who was punishing his men for being considered treasonous. He told Billy to cut off the man's finger. But here, Billy even hesitated when holding the knife. As a result, Zong immediately executed the man. When he was at home, Billy was experiencing a hangover, which turned out that he had been addicted to drugs. Because the stock of his drugs has run out, Billy is addicted, convulsing, and very high. Not long after, Ahai and the gang arrived and tried to resuscitate Billy who was already unconscious. Here Ahai also scolded Cindy for always smothering Billy with the forbidden stuff, and it was revealed here that it turned out that Cindy was under boss Ah Long control, knowing that Ahai was disappointed with her. The next day, Tio began to fall into a trap set by his own friend Sui. As a result, the money from his gambling profits was taken away by his friend. But now he has become the hunted of the debt collectors, including Boss Fozen, because he is considered to have stolen the money. Realizing that, Tio began to pack his belongings and intended to run away from there. But because of his panic, he slipped and fell from the building until he suddenly died on the spot. Due to all the events that had happened, the situation was now chaotic. Then secretly Boss Ah Long continued his next revenge plan. While at the nightclub, Boss Fozen is fascinated by Sypha's beauty. Seeing that, Zong will actually help Boss Fozen so that he can enjoy body of his women's friend. It turns out that he has now been blinded by envy and hatred for Ahai, who has been appointed leader there. Even though Ahai himself is a good person, he is even willing to take Billy who is addicted to the hospital. Meanwhile, he himself betrayed his own friends because he was really want more power in the gang. When in the hospital, Cindy cried and regretted her actions because now she really loved Billy. Then Cindy also explained that she was no choice to obey Boss Ah Long's wishes because her father had a debt to the gang.
Hearing this, Ahai began to calm down and finally forgave Cindy. Not long after, he also got news from the hotel that Saifa was in trouble. Quickly, the two of them rushed there. And when they arrived at the hotel, Cindy saw the condition of Saifa, who was looked severe trauma due to being raped by Boss Fosen. Seeing the incident, Ahai immediately went to Zong to tell him everything. At first, Zong did not want to confess and said that he did not know anything. But when Ahai showed him Boss Fosen's necklace that had been found in the room, Zong finally confessed that he was the one who had framed Saifa. He did so because he thought that Saifa was Boss Along's man too. Hearing all that, Ahai was furious. But because of his strong friendship, Ahai was still able to contain his anger and decided to leave. After that, Ahai went to see Saifa to see how she was doing. There he invited Saifa to go to the village with him so that her severe trauma could heal. Hearing this, Saifa agreed. Then they both went to the village and had fun there. Coincidentally, Saifa's severe trauma began to improve. On the other hand, Zong and Madam's relationship is getting closer. They even began to make out in the boss Fosen's house. Unbeknownst to them, boss Ah Long's men were snooping around and taking pictures. Then the photo was handed over to boss Ah Long. Seeing the photo, boss Ah Long was going to use Zong as in tools of revenge. He then called Zong and asked him to send drug stocks, and if he refused, then he would give the photo to the boss Fosen. Hearing that, Zong panicked, and in the end, he was no choice to obey the wishes of boss Ah Long, who is their rival. At that moment, Zong went to the storage room and took all the drugs to be sent to Boss Along's place. After that, he put empty boxes into the storage room and put yellow duct tape on each box. This was done so that he wouldn't be suspected of stealing the drugs. Long story short, Fozen's boss finally found out that all his illegal stuff had disappeared. Then he blamed his men for stealing the stuffs, and as a result, they were immediately executed there. Not only that, Zong also had the dare to slander his own boss, Ah Tong, as the mastermind of the theft, and without thinking, Boss Fosen then told Zong to execute him too. Before being drowned, Zong apologized to Boss Ah Tong for betraying him. In the evening, Zong went to Boss Ah Tong's place to offer him more drugs, on the condition that Boss Ah Tong help him to kill Boss Fosen. It turned out that this Zong had betrayed Boss Fosen because he wanted to become a big boss in the game too. Hearing the offer, Boss Ah Long agreed, until finally the two of them officially collaborated. But it turned out that their conversation was overheard by Bing. Seeing this, Zong ordered his men to arrest Bing, so there was a chase. When Bing managed to get through the fence and was already on the street, a bus suddenly grabbed and crashed him. Seeing that, Zong was sad because he felt guilty about his own friend, especially when he saw his grandmother crying because Bing was still unconscious. But suddenly, the doctor came and told him that Bing would wake up soon. Zong was in a dilemma because he was afraid Bing would reveal everything. On the other hand, Bing is his friend too, until finally, Zong decided to kill Bing, who was his own best friend. Until finally, the news of the death made Ahai and Billy very sad, because his two friends, including his own boss, had died at the hands of Zong. Even though in the past, Zong was a very good and solid person with them. Then here, Billy also said that he himself would kill Zong to avenge the death of his friends and also his boss. At the same time, it turns out that Zong has succeeded in holding the bosses. With his cruelty, Zong put Boss Fosen into a dog cage so that he would die by the dogs. In the end, Zong was appointed as the big boss to replace Boss Fosen. In his speech, he said he would take Madame as his adopted sister. Madame was disappointed because she felt she had been betrayed. She was so sad and drunk that she had to be taken to the hospital, but apparently her life could not be saved because she overdosed. At night, when it was raining heavily, suddenly a mysterious man shot Boss Ah Long and died instantly. Meanwhile, Billy slowly approached Zong and immediately stabbed him with a knife, and he did it to take revenge for Zong's betrayal. In the end, Zong was killed. At the same time, the movie ended.